I want to state it clearly that the time has come for we, the patriotic citizens of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, to reawaken our citizen consciousness for peaceful coexistence and unity of this great nation. A time has come for us to come together by living in peace and harmony in order to address issues confronting this nation. A time has come for we, the young Nigerians and the civil society, to call the, to draw the attention of the Nigerian government to fish out all the elements and enemies and economic saboteurs of this nation and allow the law to take its course. Because a nation without law is a nation that will experience nothing but insecurity. A nation that is governed by politics, not allow the law to be governed, will be a nation that people will experience nothing but crisis. Today, we have abandoned the rule of law and allow politics to go ahead of us. That is why we are gathering here in making sure that we, the youth, the civil society, we have been able to create synergy with the military and other security agencies to protect the nation and water territorial integrity, securing lives and property, maintaining law and order. To me, this still remains the top priority of Mr. President's completion next level agenda before we hand over power to the next administration. Today, we are standing because the interest of this nation is at our hearts. And we cannot born into this nation and die and leave Nigeria going down the drain. Because where we ought to be as a nation is not where we are, due to what? Destruction of properties, vandalization of properties, and other criminalities in the country. What have been the responsibility? What has been your citizen responsibility as a Nigerian here in the Nigerian society? Have you been able to take ownership of telecom infrastructure? Have you been able to take ownership of power infrastructure within your locality or within your environment? Have you been able to draw the attention of security, security personnel or operatives to issue confronting the society? Because the criminals are not living abroad. The criminals live in our community. And the community knows those who are penetrating, who are terrorizing the society. And until the society, the community, wake up, rise up, by drawing the attention of the military and other security agencies, the quest for peaceful coexistence may remain elusive. Those who are in position, how far have you done to the position the youth for entrepreneurship, ICT development, and economic growth? Luckily, NCC, Nigerian Communication Commission, through numerous provision for digital telecom infrastructure, has been able to create large markets, large employment in the ICT sector, and the youth have been engaged. Yet, the government has not taken advantage of that in making sure that they create partnership with the stakeholders in the rural communities to make sure that there are digital infrastructures across Nigeria in order to continue to create knowledge and high city based society. Because the only sector currently creating jobs for the youth is the ICT sector through telecom infrastructure. Because when the youth are jobless, not everybody can move on the street like we. We have moved on the street for over 20 years. We keep moving. Because we have faith that one day this nation will change for a better. Lies equipment and discourages investors, both foreign and uh, local, in investing in the country. There are so many complaints of vandalism and destruction of infrastructure across the country. Service providers on a daily basis experience fiber cuts in addition to theft of generators, inverter batteries, diesel, and so on. Members of respective communities must guard against the destruction of telecoms infrastructure by promptly notifying security agencies of mob activities or the service providers of any ongoing construction activities by companies or government agencies to avoid service disruption that may arise from damaged infrastructure. They must also help in allowing seamless installation of equipment and their maintenance or repairs to ensure improved service delivery. There is also a need for 
restriction on access to infrastructure sites, data and information sharing between all stakeholders. This will help in identifying and alerting other operators on new forms of vandalism and how such will be managed, and also discouraging the vice by naming and shaming those caught in the act. Such action can deter others from getting involved in destruction of infrastructure. Well, we need information, actually. We need enough, uh, we need technology, and we need your support as pressmen too, to make sure that uh, we protect this uh, critical national infrastructure. The problem there is that uh, most times people see something they don't tell us. They don't, but, but the slogan is, 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 is clear and obvious that if you see something, say something. We work on information. Policing is not just for the policeman alone, it's for everybody. Crime is local. These people who vandalize this um, critical infrastructure, they are part and parcel of the society. They're in our communities, they are brothers, they are sisters, they are friends. But let us have your support so that we, we get information and then work on it.